Hey, I'm John Cruz, president and owner of Missile Baits, but I also fish professionally on the Bassmaster Elite Series Tour. Wow. wow. That's what I'm talking. Yes. Freaking giant right there, boy. Yes. And that is where all the real ideas for Missile Baits have come and continue to come. You know, at Missile Baits, you know, I founded the company back in 2012, and it is just basically born out of soft plastics that I needed out on tour to compete with. So the research and development process has kind of come, you know, it's evolved, but still it all starts on what I need to compete with out on tour. And for, for me, in my opinion, it just, it's a waste of time to basically knock off another company's bait. If there's something out there that you just want to, that I want to use, I'm just going to go use it. Uh, it kind of defeats the whole purpose of missile baits to go out there and, you know, just you make another trick worm or to make another fluke or to make another Kitech swing impact. To me, there's, there's no, there's no point in that. I'm just, I just want to go buy, if I want that, I'm just going to go buy it. I mean, I don't, I just don't see the business model in, in copying another good bait that's already out there on, on, on the market. To me, that, that's a total waste of time. So for missile baits, what we do is, you know, I'll get out there and I'll be fishing and I realize, man, there is a bait that I need to fill a niche for me. And, and that's really where the, the D-bomb started. Uh, there was a number of good flipping baits, creature baits out there on the market, but I felt like certain ones had different flaws and then, you know, none of them basically did what the D-bomb does. And, you know, like with the D-bomb, the problem we solved is we made a, a thick, big profile flipping bait that had action when you barely move it with those thin flappers on the back, they, they just move really with just the slightest subtle movement. That is really hard to find. I mean, you can't find it in another bait in that category out there on the market. So that was the big, the big deal there. And if you go through every single one of our baits, that's exactly what, uh, what we do uh, with, with the baits that we come up with. You know, we, the quiver is the latest bait uh, at this point in time to come out from Missile Baits. And it came from me looking for a bait to use with a Neko rig and a Tokyo rig. The Neko and the Tokyo rig are two, uh, at, as, as of right now, two of the hottest trends in bass fishing. Those two techniques, a lot of people are trying to learn them. They're, you know, doing YouTube searches, trying to figure out how to fish them. Uh, I found myself catching more and more fish on those two techniques. And I was, I was using all kinds of different products on the market, missile and non-missile. I was using all kinds of different products and I couldn't find exactly what I wanted, so I designed it. And, uh, and the quiver is kind of a longer version of the, of the Ned Bomb, and that's the bait that we designed for, you know, for using on a Ned Rig. Ned Rig, super popular technique. I really liked uh, some of the profiles and some of the, the way that some of the baits on the market worked, but there was nothing that had action. You know, when you stopped moving that Ned rig, there was nothing that, that actually moved uh, or did any type of action on, on the bait. So that's why we, we came out with the Ned Bomb. So the, the quiver is a larger version of that Ned Bomb. That quiver, man, it undulates with just the slightest movement. It, it really is an amplified Ned bomb. So when we, when I've got more designs coming, more ideas coming, more problems that I need to solve for, for baits and things that I need out there on tour. And I feel like if I, if I need them on tour, you know, we're going to need those, uh, on, uh, you know, people are going to need them in their tackle boxes as well. You know, anglers of all skill levels, you know, all over the world really to, you know, if you, if we design the baits that are very efficient and work, and uh, fix problems and uh, create new categories, then that's what, that's what we need. 
And at Meso Baits, we are, are full of fishermen. You know, I, I fish professionally, I do it on tour, but you know, I'm one person's perspective. And the, the, the very first employee we had is Shannon Wheeler. Shannon is an avid fisherman, not a huge tournament fisherman, but man, he fishes a lot, loves to fish, and he is self-taught with everything that he does from graphic design, video production, all that. Self-taught, self-taught uh, on, on fishing as well. Very good, very good angler. Our director of sales, Byron Childers. Byron is a longtime tournament angler. Got out of tournaments for a while. Got in the last number of years, got back into bass fishing. And he's picked up right where he left off. Very good fisherman. Uh, you know, he's born and raised in Florida. Doesn't live there now, but he's born and raised in Florida. So he's got that background, uh, which is good because I fished in Florida, but my background is mid-Atlantic region as far as wh where I live. Uh, being that I fish all over, it really helps with bait designs and, and what I need. But then also uh, we, have, we have Mark Saunders that works in the back. He's our warehouse manager. Mark, longtime tournament angler, fishes multiple days a week whenever he can. Mark is a very good angler. Nice to have these different perspectives. We got Andy Thomason that works for us as well. Andy's an aspiring uh, elite angler. He, he's on the Bassmaster Open Series currently. Andy's a very good angler, just, you know, just green as far as tournaments go, still learning uh, the terms, but a very, very good angler. So it's nice to have all these different perspectives within the Missile Baits organization. Uh, and then we've got Julie as our office manager she talks to a lot of customers and i think it's it's crucial to have somebody who is not an avid fisherman that can listen uh, julie is a great listener she talks to a number of our dealers and distributors and buyers she listens to what they say and then relays that to us without having a personal filter a personal preference filter on that so i just feel like that our team at missile baits gives us a good mix uh, you know, of employees that can give good uh, perspective on what we're looking to come out with, whether it's colors, baits, action, uh, what, what, we, you know, what the need is out there versus what we need in our tackle boxes. All of that kind of can combine at Missile Baits to, so we can go out and research, develop, and, and come out with the baits that we know anglers are going to need because we need them as well. I love to get out on the water and test these baits. You know, it all starts with a sketch. Uh, now, whether it's any of our jig products or, or our soft plastics, it all starts with a sketch. I personally sketch the baits out on graph paper, and then I give exact specifications to work with, with the mold makers uh, whatever whatever it is, whichever project it is, I work with the mold makers and we tweak that to get it exactly right. A lot of times we'll go through multiple prototypes before we end up getting the bait exactly how we want it. Then I'll go out there on the water, I'll test it. We'll have other missile baits employees. Sometimes we'll have the pro staff test some baits for us as well. So we can have good quick feedback to be able to move forward with projects if we like them or if we don't like them, we, we either back burner them, put them off. You know, I've been working on, uh, on one project for over a year and it's something that I know is gonna do very well as far as sales wise, but the bait, in my opinion, I've tried multiple versions, it just doesn't run great. It runs, it runs perfectly well enough to sell and catch fish and do good. But that's not good enough for me. Instead of instead of the, this one particular bait that I'm thinking of, uh, instead of just having this one, I, I honestly I'd rather just go buy a, uh, one or two other brands uh, of comparable products that are already on the market and save everybody a lot of time. But I'm not going to do that. So I'm still working to develop that bait to get it really how I want it to get it better than what's on the market currently. And so that, that's just the whole philosophy behind Missile Baits. We try to solve problems and try to make baits that are better, make things that function better. And hopefully when they come together and we get those things just right, we put them out there on the market and we get amazing feedback from 
customers and consumers out there that are going out and fishing and catching a lot of big fish on our baits, just like we've seen recently with the quiver. A lot of big fish. I'm talking, you know, sevens, eights, nine pound bass being caught already on on that quiver. Uh, you know, I used it in the Bassmaster Classic recently, caught some really good fish. I finished second place in the first Elite Series tournament of 2020 at the St. Johns River. I caught over half of my fish on the Missile Baits Quiver. So, you know, getting out there on tournament trails and letting that bait be proven early on really helps, uh, you know, get the, get the name out there. But that just goes to show you when you put something together that is you know it, it's better it functions better it works it's going to catch fish and it's going to make everybody happy trying out a new a new head here working on see if it'll get them look man it, that hook is pinned down I'm not going to show you this because this is top secret information soon to be released not released yet but you see the results uh, smallmouth went completely crazy uh, he was hooked really good uh, so that's that's how we do it we test before we put it out there put this one back.